Hi guys, it's Jody. For today's video, I really, 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 really <laughs> enjoyed those colors I did in the last video when uh, we did the swipe and I just kind of let the paint speak for itself. I had a vision in my head of, I wanted to kind of do another one of those floating blooms where I swiped the background, you know, on a, a 14 inch uh, canvas. So I've got this idea in my head. I want to see if it pans out. So that is what we're going to do today. So let's go get started. All right. I am going to run through the colors and the cell activator really quick before we get started painting. It is, <laughs> it is the same color palette that we used in the last video after I did uh, that swipe. I had some ideas and I just, I wanted, I wanted to give them a go. So we're going to use the same color palette. So I'm going to run through everything really quick and then we'll get started. So the, the, this little piggy pigment, I'm, uh, I've got the Aphrodite here again. This is that, uh, kind of burnt red, burnt pinkish, reddish, <laughs> rosish color. <laughs> uh, and this is mixed with my, oops, my, Dutch Boy Joe Sonia pouring medium, but there's that. And then everything else is mixed with my Valspar Verathane pouring medium. This is the Magenta Light, the Arteza. And here's that one. Looks like all mixed up. And then we have the PBS Studio Acrylics, the Iridescent Blue Black. And there's that looks like mixed up. And then I've got the golden fluid, the permanent violet dark. And there's that one. And finally, the black umber, the Joe Sonia black umber. that one mixed up my cell activators I've got three today I've got the two that we used in the last video and I'm also and I'll run through all of them I I have the uh, iridescent PBO the PBO iridescent precious gold these are all mixed with Australian Floetrol I have that one and then I have my Atelier interactive titanium white from the last video and then the Atelier interactive the Prussian blue hue from the last video. The only one I'm adding that is the gold and uh, you'll understand when I explain what we're doing. So now let's go get started painting. All right for this piece I have got a 14 by 14 square canvas and similar to a few videos back I did where I swiped on a background and then did a floating bloom in the center. That's what I want to do here. Uh, I saw that in the colors that we did in the last video. So I'm, I'm going to use a couple of the colors for the background swipe and then we'll use all of them in the floating bloom. So right, the pillow I have is my normal, the Glidden Premium and Satin. I have a completely full <laughs> container, but I'm going to just go ahead and uh, put this on or, and spread it out and I'll be right back. All right. I'm going to use the same swipe tool that I used the last time. All right, like so. I've got the gold, the black umber, then the Athena. And we're just going to like so. All right, same. Yeah, but I'm finally, I'm kind of going to go angle here because I want to keep those cells if I can. Not a lot of cells, but I am okay with that. Like the last time, it just, it's for the background really, but I do want to get it back kind of in the center here. There we go. All right, now for the bloom portion. 
and I've brought you down a little bit so that when I blow it out, my head's not in the way. All right, now I'm going to put the Athena down just like so, just a little bit. Just a little bit more. All right. That's a good size. And then I've got the magenta light. I've got the blue black. Permanent Violet Dark. And we're going to do just a little of the Black Umber. All right, here I'm going to put the White Cell Activator. The White Cell Activator first. So, and the blue. Like so. Okay. Right, that blew out so awesome and look I got my bubblicious cells again all right let's modify this All right, I am super pleased with this. I am so excited to see how this spins out. I will meet you over the spinner box and we will see what comes of this. All right, here we have it as a whole. Can't really lift it up too much here, but I am just gonna give it a spin and then I'm gonna adjust as I go. Cause I need to get those, <clears throat> that background swipe all the way to the, oh my gosh, all the way to the edges. Wow, this bloom. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, I need to give it another good one. Oh yeah. Oof. Bring it over here just a little. Wow. Yeah, this is exactly what I was envisioning. This is gorgeous. I just need to do one little baby spin. 
Mm, maybe another little baby spin. I got just this corner right here, or I might leave it. So I don't really want to take anything more from this bloom. Ugh. Well, wrong, wrong part there, Jody. Just want to move this over just a little. That's about it. Oh, wow. That has got to be one of the coolest blooms I've ever seen with those bubble cells. Look at those bubble cells. Ooh, and if you can't see them really well, you will totally see them in the flyover. Let me just move this ever so slightly that way. Yeah, that's it. Right there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, that's what that one looks like. I'm going to get cleaned up, and I'll bring you over for the flyover of this. All right. Here is the flyover of this guy. And oh, my gosh. <laughs> The shimmers in here are just amazing, but I'm, I'm just floored by the bloom. I mean, I loved this color combo for the last video when I did the swipe, but oh, look at that. Right there, all those bubblicious cells. I can't believe it. I almost want to, I, I do have the Atelier Interactive in gold. I, I think I want to mix that up and see what happens with that. But I love how the background is more of a swipe you know, the swipe movement as opposed to a lot of cells. It kind of enhances the bloom, I think. But I am going to give the uh, transfer swipe background a go again. I wasn't happy with my bloom in the in a uh, uh, couple of videos ago when I attempted it. I feel like I bloom better on the bench than in the puppy pool. But look at that center. Look at that bloom. It just looks like it's in motion. I'm so excited for this. Hooey! Yeah, oh, that is so cool right there. Okay, I could gush about this for an hour. <laughs> I will be back once this is dried to show you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the piece we just did. And it turned out exactly as I wanted it to, <laughs> as I had it envisioned, envisioned in my head. And we all know how that works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. But I am super excited to show you how it dried. I mean, it dried exactly how you saw it, it wet. So let me flip you around and I will show you how it dried. All right, here it is as a whole before I bring you in and kind of show you a bit more of the detail. And I'll I'll also pick it up because there are some really nice shimmers from the gold cell activator as well as that Aphrodite. But I mean, this bloom is just off the charts. That cell activator, that Atelier Interactive. I mean, those bubble cells, the bubblicious cells, I can't, I'm still dying over them. But I love how this especially how some of it just kind of peeks out in there and it just looks like that bloom is floating on top of the background and I love the flow of the background I mean I I don't necessarily care that there's uh that there's a lot of cells there I just like the movement of it and kind of the contrast with the bloom itself but um you can see some of the some of the gold there and there's some more the gold here too but let me let me pick it up here's kind of what it looks like in the light you can get that gold and also the shimmers from that Aphrodite in there as well there's a little bit of that uh, blue black too if you can kind of see it in some of the cells but overall I am super pleased with it so I'm gonna flip you around and give you my final thoughts I think that color combo is going to be added to one of my most favorite color combos. It just, I mean, just the the dynamic it, and the play together. I love it. <laughs> and those bubblicious cells. I mean, come on. I'm, I've got other Atelier Interactive uh, paints there, and it's the um, 
Well, I've shown you, I've shown you the tube. It's the, they're more of, of a hard body, which works well with the, uh, the Australian Floetrol as it's thinner. I haven't tried it with the U.S. Floetrol yet, but uh, that is on my list to see how it works with the, um, both the high ratio as well as the Minwax uh, Floetrol recipe, U.S. Floetrol cell activator recipes. <laughs> Say that three times. <laughs> But this was really a lot of fun. I'm so glad that it kind of popped into my head and I just went with it. So let me know what you think in the comments below of this piece. I really had a lot of fun putting this together. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.